Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Webpack. Our viewer wants to know how to set up hot reloading using Webpack-Dev Server, similar to the experience provided by Vuexcalay. Let's dive into the details. The viewer has already installed Webpack Dev Server and configured their package.json scripts. However, when they run the npm run watch command, hot reloading isn't working as expected. They want to achieve the same seamless experience as with Vuekli, where changes are automatically detected and reflected in the browser. Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To enable hot reloading with Webpack Dev Server, we need to ensure our configuration is set up correctly. Let's start by reviewing the package.json file. In the script section, we see the watch command using webpack dev server with the dash hot flag. This is essential for hot reloading. Next, let's look at the webpack config.js file. In the webpack.config.js, we need to ensure that the dev server configuration is included. This is crucial for enabling hot reloading. Let's add that now. Now that we've added the dev server configuration, let's ensure that our extract text plugin is set up correctly. This plugin can sometimes interfere with hot reloading. Finally, after making these changes, run the npm run watch command again. You should now see hot reloading in action when you modify your files. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To set up Webpack Dev Server with hot reloading, you can use a template project that already has this feature working. This example uses Gulp to run the server. You can find the relevant configuration details in the provided GitHub link which shows how to integrate it into your own Webpack configuration. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.